to another episode of The Distinguished Geek. So in this episode, I thought I may do some unboxing. Um, and so um, I've been wanting um, another droid um, for my video. As you can see, uh, RDD2 is there. Um, I'm wanting BB-8 as well, but I've been wanting a third droid. Uh, and luckily I got it for Christmas, so here he is. Beauty. BB-9E uh, is featured in uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, love it. I'm very much towards the dark side, um, so I've been wanting BB-9E for a while since I heard he was out. Uh, like I said, I've been wanting BB-8 as well, and all the other droids like R4 and stuff like that, but um, R4 is really hard to find, as in size of this. I find loads of R4s tiny miniatures and you get those die cast of the whole um, R2 and R4 units um, but nothing this size so um, let's unbox and see what it looks like so basically it says here the 17 sound effects um, and I think just like RDD2 it's either voice operated or just push a button um, but it looks amazing, doesn't it? Right, let's let's uh, let's have a look. Let's open this up and uh, get the sad tape off. Get the or whatever it is, the sticky. Let's have a look. I want to destroy the box, but I need to open it. Right, there we go. See, it comes in like packaging and all this. Okay, don't think it. No, so switch and switched off, so it doesn't have a try. Well, it does say try me on the box, but it doesn't work. So let's have a look. Oh. Out on scenes. Oh my god! Right, here. Yeah. way. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is um, that's the front BB9, so you can see it's quite cool. Um, it's got all the vents that go around the BB9, it's got the head, it's really good detail. I mean, look at, look at the detail on that, it's amazing, isn't it? So, what we'll do, we'll switch it on, find the button, and ah, there it is, right? So, it's located there. Not easy to find, but there it is. So let's turn it on. So two functions. So what we'll do, we'll go to. Okay. Ooh. So that seems to be just the button, and then I'm assuming this is voice or voice operated uh, BB9 Ego no obviously it's not it's just all the buttons ah so he moves okay so we're gonna have a look and see how he moves so um, alright let's go and try this okay rid of the move so we'll push a button and see what happens okay so he doesn't move oh he does move So, I'm assuming now, if we, next one I'm assuming is, that's off. Voice operated. BB9E go.
so cool. BB9 Ego. Can't see the flashing lights when you're going backwards, so turn around. You don't have to say BB9 Ego, I just like saying it. You just have to make some kind of sound. So you can just say go. Or may the force be with you. and BB90, I mean, they, they mainly will just go back and forth and make the sounds. I mean, you can get more expensive ones, which um, you can Bluetooth to your phone and use remote control, but it's, I don't know, I like oh, this. Ooh. Um, yeah, it's, love it. I mean, if you like uh, Star Wars as much as I do, then I think, you know, this may be down your street. Um, and if you for the dark side, which I hope you really are, um, definitely, definitely go for uh, for BB9E. Um, anyone knows where you can find a BB8 unit this size? Uh, please let me know. Um, that'd be great. Uh, and like the R4s, um, then just just leave a comment uh, and please just let me know if you know a website. Um, Gathering is going to be American websites, uh, but you never know. Uh, you may even find one in Disney Store. I mean, majority of these, this one here, and the R2 came for the Disney Store, which is quite cool, you know, for for the for the price range for the range no, range price range. Um, it's you know, it's pretty good, and love it, love it. Okay, right. Next unboxing. Should we try it? Let's do it. So, being a gamer, console gamer, not a PC gamer, tried PC gamer, but it wasn't really me, so I apologise for the PC gamers. Nothing against you, you know, tap a hat to you, because obviously, you know, obviously the full PC gamer using the keyboard, not the, con not the controller. I mean, that's no difference than the console, just better graphics in a way. Um, but, so, if you're wanting this, this is the Mega Drive. It's released, it's a plug-in, uh, so it's really small. It's got 81 games, 81 built-in games. Um, these are some of the games from the back here. So you've got Alex the Kid, um, Alien Storm, um, uh, Altered Beast, Arrow Flash, Bonanza Bros, some of these I've never heard of before. Um, Collins, uh, Co Comics Zone, Crackdown, that was a good game. Uh, Decap Deca Attack, uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, um, Eternal Champions, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky, Game Ground, Golden Axe 2. Now that was awesome, I played in the arcade. I remember being like 14 years old, never got past the first level. Um, Golden Axe 3, Jewel Master, Kid Champion, uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. Um, Rise Star, Shadow Dancer, Shinobi, yes, good old Shinobi, I love the ninja. Um, you also got uh, Shiny Force, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, Super Thunder Blade, oh yes, that was awesome. The Ooze, never heard of that one, Vector Man and Virtual Fighter 2, but that's just a selection of it. That's that's in 32 games on the back there, but there's 81 altogether, so there's like another 40 odd. What's on for that? Maths and crap. Um, in this console. Let's do it. So, let's unbox it. So I'll take it here we go. Okay. Oh. Oop. That's plastic. 
plans. More than plans, you know, manual, delete that. Okay, so, looks like that. Very, very nice indeed. Way, hey, cool, right, okay. So, it comes with a console, so obviously you can put a cartridge, so if you still have existing cartridges, then you stick it into there. Um, I think it's compatible with some of the original cartridges, not all of them. Um, unfortunately, I had the Maggie Drive when I was like 14 and oh, I've lost it or sold it or... No, no, I sold it, sold it. Took to a games exchange and sold amongst other stuff and uh, got myself a... I think it was a, an Xbox 360, I think it was. No, it was an original Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yep, so it's got on and the menu button. Two controllers, wired. Not You can get wireless ones, um, these are wired. Kind of like the wired, it's back, you know, nostalgic. Love it, yeah, it's all good. Um, adapter, plug in, all good, so easy. This is your sound and and picture cable. So um, obviously you can get a SCART and plug them into a SCART. Or most TVs now, modern TVs will have the jack ports for the colours. And there's other controller. So that's it. So that is essentially what's in here. So we will give it a go and see what the graphics like. So I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to how it used to be. Um, I'm talking about, you know, I was 14 years old, so, you know, early 90s. Um, and it was, I loved it, you know. I don't really want it to be magnificently sound. I've seen reviews on these before, especially the ones in America, the Genesis model, because Genesis was the, Meg was the American version of Mega Drive to the, to the ones in England. And no one was complaining that the sound quality was bad. But what do you expect? I mean, you, you, you're buying a console that's based back in the 80s, 90s, you wanted to sound just like when you were a child. You don't want it to be sounding like, you know, an Xbox or an Xbox One or PS4. There's, there's no point. You might as well get a PS4 and Xbox One. You know, you want to go back to your childhood and have what made you become a gamer as such. This is what made me. I had the massive, well, actually, I started off with the Atari 2600. Uh, with like Dig Dug and uh, Centipede and um, Defender and all this stuff. And then I went to the Master System 2 built in Alex Kid. And then I went to the Mega Drive. And then I moved on to the, you know, I think I got a Sega Saturn. And then I went to the PlayStation 1, the PlayStation 2, the N64, PlayStation 3, and now I'm on the PlayStation 4. Um, I have all the Xboxes apart from Xbox One. Um, but there we go. Um, yes, so we'll give it a go and see what it's like. Let's do it. Okay, so I've got the um, the console all hooked up now. So um, as you can see, you've got it's a bit wiry. I would normally obviously have it all neat, but for demo purposes, just like in demo purposes. Um, as you can see, we're just, just literally just wired up here. So you've got the controller at the front, you've got the adapter, and then you've got the three color jacks, and that's all you need. Simple as that, really. So obviously built in, so no cartridge, but if you have a cartridge, you can put the cartridge in there. Um, on, off button, and a menu, instead of having a reset. So yeah, right, so let's put it on and let's see what happens. Right, so this is the start on button, here we go. Nice. So, what we got here? So these are all the menus. So, I reckon, got to be done. I need to play Sonic the Hedgehog. Good old golden oldie. Let's do it. Right. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we go. Yes. God, that takes me back. Okay, here we go. Nice. Hit controls, five, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, 
I see it. There you are. Invincible. Almost lost that ring. Almost. Ooh. Okay, so that's the save point area. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, level up. Yes, enough speed. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, uh, whoa. Okay, look. Bikes. Nice. Hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Need these. Thank you very much. Nice. Cool. Bonus round. <laughs> oh, nice. Get as many rings as I can. Forces. Red pits, nice, got extra life. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Awesome. Alright. That's Sonic, let's uh, move on to another game, shall we? Okay, so let's go back to the menu. Thank you for the life, guys, thank you. Super Thunderblade, let's try that. That's the uh, bit of patchy game. If I remember it correctly, this was a bit like uh, Outrun. Do you remember the car game? It's like Outrun, but with a helicopter. Um, you have to dodge incoming bullets from helicopters and tanks, if I remember correctly. So, uh, graphics aren't that bad, actually, if you think about it. Technology back then, graphics aren't that bad. Back then we thought these graphics were like absolutely immense. We dreamt, and we just dreamt that would be like PlayStation 4 or now, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got me. Yeah, we just... Oh, man. I remember being a kid, just, just, just actually saying how what, what the graphics would be like when we're older on, on games you know I really dread that the graphics would be anything like a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 1 uh, sorry Xbox One but you know you told me the graphics would be like this now back then wouldn't have believed you wouldn't have believed you hey, come on on you go nice 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 Close one, close one. Oh my god, almost got me, almost got me. Come on. Yeah, oh. That was a good run. Alright, can I get to the end of the stage? Can I get to the end of the stage? Can I, 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 Almost, oh, dude. Game over. Okay, one more game. One more game. Alright. Let's have a look. Let's turn this on. Okay, so. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, do you know what? It's got to be Mortal Kombat. Yeah, there we are. Okay. 
wasn't great at this game, if I remember correctly. I can never uh, achieve the, uh, the special kill moves at the end. Actually, quite a fan game, quite rubbish at this game, but I've chose this one. But, um, so I can't guarantee or can't even promise you I will actually achieve a fight. But we'll give it a go. Got to be Scorpion. Got to be Scorpion. Right, who am I fighting against? Sonia. Come to me. Oh, dude. She's good, she's fast, she's fast. So you can see what the game's like. It's pretty good in there. I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to turn this off before it continues. Uh, let's get to the menu. Right, so, yeah. Actually, I think this is pretty good. I mean, it's... It used, normally was like about £100, I think, if I remember correctly. But um, it's roughly around about, I think, either 30 or 60, 60 quid now. Um, so that's... I think at the moment it's worth its price. If it was £100, I wouldn't say it's worth it. It's um, it's not enough games in a way, I mean, as in um, the mainstream games that you've got for, for the Mega Drive. So there's only about, I would say, about 10, 15 games there at most that which were the mainstream. The rest of them were just like um, just backup games in a way, lack of a better word. Um, you know, things like Column and stuff like that, I'd rather see more um, full-on games like more Shinobi, the Sonics, the Mortal Kombats. Um, uh, there's loads of games in there, uh, if you remember Cool Spot, um, Earthworm Gym, games like that. But these are big games, so they're probably the memory on that little console probably can't hold those games. But, you know... But saying that, you are able to put the cartridge into the console, so you never know. You may be able to find those in, I don't know, um, car boot sales or, you know, game exchange stores. Um, you know, they may still be around. People still still sell them. Um, so there's still, still a chance to play them. But um, I think, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that one, to be honest, for, for the money. And it does bring back a lot of memories. Um, so I think I'll have some hours of fun on that. I'll just uh, I'll have a proper play on them and see what I can what I can do. Awesome, right? Okay, so that's the Mega Drive. What do you think? Leave a comment. Yeah, see how what you what you thought of of the console. Um, does it bring back memories? Do you think it should be better in sound wise? Like you know, like I was talking about before about reviews I've seen on American YouTubes about how they, they, they weren't happy with the uh, with the sound quality of the, of the Genesis Mega Drive but I, you know, to be honest, like I said before uh, this, is what, this is what I want I, I expected that to sound like that and especially like that Sega bit with Sonic I mean that flew me back to being a kid, you know, being 14 years old back in, I think it was like 1992 or whatever it was it's awesome. Right, okay. Move on to the next unboxing, I reckon. Here we go. Right. Last but not least. The Recon Drone. Hello. Um, yeah, so. Recon Drone. No, I can't. Right. 
compromised. You can't see me in face or that at the same time. So, um, hi. Well, that. Is that better? So there we are. So that's the recon. Um, you get it from Hawkins Bazaar. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good place for gadgets. Um, yeah, so it's very light, but it comes with video and photos. It's gyro stabilized, which obviously means that you should keep your videos sort of nice and smooth. It was quite a wobbly or windy day. The camera should stay stable, so you should get a nice, just all static video feed. Look at me, all gadgety. I'm not. Well, I am, but not that technical. Um, Four channel controls, obviously with the remote control, USB charging, three speed modes, LED lights, 50 meter range, which is not too bad, but I mean, what do you expect? You know, it's not the expensive, it's about 500 pound drones, uh, but good enough range, good enough range. Uh, it's got eight minute flight. So I would suggest from what, uh, from reading it, it's, you probably get a few charges, um, it takes rechargeable batteries, um, so and like a pack, you just put the pack into the controller. So I would buy the extra charges from Hawkins Bazaar or eBay if they probably do it there, and just have a stock of them and all charged up, and you can get a good flight because eight minutes won't last that long. Um, and obviously, being a windy day, it may I'm assuming it will drain more batteries. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I would suggest to have a a selection of batteries so you can have a nice flight. Um, so indoor and outdoor flying. Um, I wouldn't do indoors personally. I mean, it's I bet it'd be really sensitive. To be honest, I think I'll probably smash into the ceiling. I've had those little remote control helicopters from from um, uh, Hawkins Bazaar, and trying to keep them hovering was just like non-existent, I kept smacking it, I think I broke it eventually. Um, and we've got SD card and reader included, which is pretty good. So you can download all your videos and photographs. It's pretty cool, so let's give it an open. Manual, yeah, probably will read that eventually. Um, pretty good, yeah, good, okay. Okay, so. Here it is, so that's the drone. As you can see, you've got the remote control there, the drone, and what's that? Ah, extra propellers and feet. Okay, so. With me, put my mic back on. I just pull my mic off. Not very clever, is it? Okay, that's better, right? Okay, so yes, yeah, it's, it's wired in as in like cable wire. I'll undo that so we can get it. I think this is falling out of it because it was upside down. Okay, so here we go. Oh. There we go. So, as the drone, you've got the, the camera there, which is pretty cool. That's obviously the sensor for the, for the control. So that, the machine will take the photographs and the video. Pretty epic, I love that. Um, so it has the four propellers, give some lift really light, I mean really really light, but it seems very solid so I um, don't think it'll, it's not going to break or anything, uh, it should look like it should take enough damage or you know what I mean if it lands a bit weirdly. Um, 
Uh, I have read on the box that do not fly over water, but that's that's common sense. But I think it's just, yeah, just don't fly over water. Um, big green field. Don't have to be green, but the ones in the field. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so it comes with feet. So that's things that are falling out just now. These things. So obviously they clip into here. Ah, there. Right, okay. So. How do they work? I'll have to figure that one out really, but essentially they would fit here somewhere. Um, the holes are there, so that's for one. Let's find out. Uh, hang on. Ah, that, okay, so. Mm. Oh, okay, that's not good. I'm struggling with that one. There are the holes for them. Mm. Okay, well, need to look at that so. The feet will go in. Um, I'm just assuming they're going to the holes. Best to read the manual, but as you can see, they are the feet, so they're fine. Um, it'll be fine. So yeah, so I will give that a flight. It won't be in this episode um, because it's quite a windy day out there, uh, quite dull, and I'm at home, so. Don't want to start videoing and taking photographs of neighbours. Should I really? So um, yeah. So it will be featured in the one of the next episodes. Flying. Feet fastened. And uh, we'll see what um, what it's like. And hopefully I can take some photographs and videos and download onto the SD card and. Then, We'll see what the what the uh, the quality of the footage. I don't. It's not a um, it's not like a four K camera or anything. It's just a, a standard um, video. So uh, the 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 footage is not going to be absolutely crystal clear. Um, but um, like I said, it's not one of these four hundred pound um, droids. Uh, not droids. I'm not saying droids. Uh, drones, um, but I think it's around about, I think I've about thirty or forty pounds, uh, which is really good, really good price um, for what it is. Yeah, but it's really good. So yeah, so yeah, so this will be featured in another episode, flying in a hopefully clear, sunny day. Um, but there we are. Right. So there we are. So that is. That's the uh, the unboxing, which is pretty cool. Um, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, um, new episodes will be on their way soon with uh, continuing with the um, year on year on the Marvel. So uh, we'll get back on track on that. Um, but once again, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please leave a comment if you want more information or what you thought of the three products that were featured in this episode um, and once again yeah just, just leave me a comment to let me know if about the droids if you know where you can find some other ones it'd be really good to know so yeah uh, well if you know if you need the channel uh, please like uh, share and even subscribe and uh, if you're following thank you very much and uh, please just just like you know uh, leave me a comment and let me feel what these gadgets are like Brilliant guys, right, uh, well wish you a, a belated happy new year, so we're about what, a few weeks into January now, so um, but cool stuff, and I should be seeing you soon, cool guys, thank you, take care, bye bye. The